This dude's sitting there and he's straight up just like, I fucking hate fat people. I was like, so does Lizzo. And she is one. <laughs> so here we are. Did you hear about this? Yeah. So she doesn't want anybody else to be fat on stage except for her? Yeah. Wait, she what? Got, dude, Lizzo gets sued by three of her dancers. Not only for, but also for like body shaming. Oop, you get a scoop. You get and then Lizzo smacks it out of your hand and calls you, you fat. fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lizzo. Bad Lizzo. You got sued last time, Lizzo. Oh my god, it makes sense, dude. Think about it. She shames them, then takes their food and she's like, I'm gonna throw this away. And then she goes in the back and she's like <laughs> <laughs> She like refills her like energy with like the tears of other like, fat bitches. You're fat. <laughs> You're fat. <laughs> this isn't even my my final form. This ah! <laughs> Lizzo is out of control. <laughs> New York City is officially destroyed by Lizzo and Kai Sinat. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Padre. Um, Gosh. <laughs> it's so high. Like well, it's a shot. You're not supposed to wave it around. Well, <laughs> um, we Wait. are back again. Another episode. We want to start off this episode by uh, doing a little celebration. Uh, Jer here just got a um, promotion Woo! to my second man in hand. He's going to be helping me run this company. Um, we're testing it out, see if he's fit for the job. And... Uh, you know, we wish you luck, man. We wish the this company luck. We wish everybody this podcast will be famous one day. Yes, sir. Woo! So to Padre. Padre. To Padre. Ah, salud. Salud. Mm -hmm. Salud. <clears throat> How does it feel? Man of the promotion time. Powerful. Powerful. She's going to take over. Speaking of which, if you want to hear what uh, our um, dictatorship would look like, check out our latest Patreon, which is the best way to support us. Let us know what you want. We will make it happen. We get toasty. We get roasty. We get radical. Rusty. We get oh. radical up in here. So be sure to check out our Patreons, Patreon forward slash Padre. You're going to find all of our videos available there. I believe we already have three videos up ready for you guys. Steaming hot. So uh, let's with that, let's go into it. <clears throat> so a man in power. You feel like you're... <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Hannah. Bye, Hannah. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an exit. Just <laughs> swift exit, stage left. <laughs> it seems like the, the introvert the, Irish. Yeah, exit. the harder you try to like be discreet about stuff, you always draw more attention to yourself. Oh yeah, have you ever tried fucking sneaking booze at like a fucking like Karaki's game or something? You feel oh, like everyone's so watching you when you pour that shooter into your lemonade. That's a Rockies yeah. game. I feel like everyone well, knows drunk anyway. Well, there's, they do, but they don't all open their own booze and pour it into their drink. Well, there's some 14 year old there with like with fucking like vodka in their in their water bottle, you know, like yeah, running around. Straight vodka. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, wow, Timmy's therapy's been working a lot lately. And he's like, <laughs> Yeah. It's been working great. <laughs> no cap. I had a friend of mine who actually took like one of the, you know, those like standardized testing that used to do in high school that didn't mean shit. Scantron. Yeah. Well, no, 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 the like, the pacer like, test. No, not the. <laughs> this is the, the motorized pacer <laughs> test. Well, it, they literally start off saying this is a standardized test. <laughs> <laughs> Today you will be <coughs> running until you are not fat. No, I'm not Lizzo. Okay. We do not want to be canceled here yet, which actually brings us into oh our first, first thing. Dude. dude, Lizzo, girl, what the fuck is up, dude? She has to be the biggest one on stage. She looks she, like the Spider-Man in the metaverse that ate hard. all the other Spider-Mans, okay? She, <laughs> she fucking... <laughs> she, she looks like the Spider-Man from the multiverse where Precious <laughs> was Spider, you know, Spider-Woman. <laughs> And she just goes around just, like, stealing, like, fried chicken everywhere. <laughs> she never lost the pizza job. <laughs> she never lost the pizza 
if you think about it, if there's a multiverse, there's got to be Spider-Man. You know, there's got to be Spider-Man out there that's just like that's you know Pizza what Spider-Man. I know I look, just non-binary an, Spider-Man. Non-binary, non-binary <laughs> obese Spider-Man. <laughs> My pronouns are they them. Oh. My pronouns are spider. <laughs> <laughs> no one understands me. <laughs> How could we? You swing on webs. <laughs> Peter. It's Peter! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's that's the that's the beauty of the multiverse, which, you know, which really brings you. You know that like every every guy who's played Spider-Man has ended up doing a gay role. Oh, what does that mean about Spider Man? Wait, did Toby, what did what did Tobey Maguire? We do? talked about this. We talked about this. I can't remember who it was, but Tom Holland was in the show where he got yeah. back shots. We were dude. talking about that last time. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, dude, that's wild!" But yeah, literally, look it up. <laughs> it's like all Spider Man's. Like, what is Spider Spider Man actors in gay movies? And there's literally like Tobey Maguire was in a big gay movie. What did he? Where, wait, he, where, he, where, he, was, where he was gay? What yeah. did Tobey Maguire do? <laughs> There's a Angel. list. Angels in America. Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris was Spider Man. Well, he just is gay. Yeah. What? Did you know? Yeah, Toby McGuire. Like Tropic Thunder. Tropic Toby Thunder. Toby McGuire's gay in Tropic Thunder. What the fuck? I didn't realize. Satan's wait, alley- wait, wait, wait. Play it, played play gay it, play again. It. That's this is the second time. What Man, was the first was... time. Yeah, what was the first time then? <laughs> you know he's really good at gambling. Toby Maguire's Neil Patrick. Yeah, do you know that Neil Patrick Harris had a cake made? Wonder of... Boys. What the fuck was that? Yeah, bro. Do you know that Neil Patrick Harris? Bro, look at this. This man got fucking pounded. <laughs> Dude, Neil Patrick Tom Harris Tom made Holland a cake got the worst of it. order. Oh yeah, that was a des- a designed replica of. Amy Winehouse's With decomposing Lockdown body Junior, three months after her death, but nobody wants to talk about that. Wait, are you saying that Toby Maguire? Wait, hold on. Conspiracy mode. Conspiracy mode. Okay, conspiracy mode. If to- Toby Maguire first played a gay man in a movie with with Robert Downey Jr., he, the what? second time he played another gay man was in Tropic Thunder with, with Robert, Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Jr. Dude. Well, Robert Downey These two Jr. have like an actual affair happening. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you think you think RDJ just walks up to his trailer and he's like, dude, so I was thinking about it. And I was thinking, what if you played this character exactly how you've been like, you know, learning how to play him, but, but you're gay. gay. And Toby's like, yeah, that would be that would be great, you know. M- maybe I'm not gay, maybe I'm bi. And he's like, no, you're gay. You're gay as fuck, you dirty little slut. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> It's true. That's so funny, dude. Wild. Toby Maguire kind of newest looked really conspiracy gay out of Hollywood. When he was younger, though. Yeah, he he looks like uh, he looks like he's been to an island or two. You know what I mean? A he, specific of specific. Uh, oh, you yeah. could say an island of boys. Rhymes yeah, with Schmepstein. <laughs> Bro, we're going too fast. You know what? We'll start with that. We're back to Lizzo, okay? okay. <laughs> Lizzo can wait. She's not going anywhere. Literally. Physically going nowhere. She can wait. She is waiting. She can afford she a forklift. Is... <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you gaslight someone who's like so fat. Just all the time you're like, wait, what? Wait? Wait? Wait. You're like, I feel like you're fucking with me. I feel like you don't have OCD. I feel like you have obesity. <laughs> Dog, okay, not even kidding. Out of the, like, because I was off for the past few weeks, all that. Out of the last convention I just came from, this one dude I was hanging out with for some of the things. Str- no, I'm kidding. We were at like breakfast together, like a fucking maid cafe kind of thing. This dude's sitting there and he's straight up just like, okay, you guys want to hear like a cigarette? He's like, I fucking hate fat people. <laughs> I was like, dude, what? He, he was like, I from- cannot stand them. Like, I see a fat person in the same room as me and it's like, fuck. And I was well, like, so does Lizzo. And she is one. <laughs> so here we are. Now we're back to Lizzo. Okay. Island boys get it later. Hey, man, with a gravitational pull as large as that, you're going to end up going back to Lizzo. Unbelievable, bro. Did you hear about this? <laughs> yeah. So she doesn't want anybody else to be fat on stage except for her. Yeah. Wait, she what? Got, dude, she got sued. She got sued. Pull this up. Lizzo gets sued by three of her dancers. Not only, not only for sexual assault, but also 
for like body shaming <laughs> and also for trying to like convert people to Christianity, which is like, just take a second and just let that headline sink in. That's you know wild. I mean? mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just like meditate on it. You know, mm-hmm. what the fuck? This whole story seems like it was made by chat GPT, dude. This can't be a real story. It probably was. Yeah, she said, like, in her contracts that it, your job would be in jeopardy if you gained weight. <laughs> I bet I bet some of these I bet some of these girls were, like, looking forward to being one of her dancers. And she's like, she's body positive. Like, I can gain a few pounds and she's not going to care. And she's just in the back like, look at who's in there, fat bitch. And you're like, what? True. What is that called? Calling the kettle Lizzo? <laughs> God damn! <laughs> it makes sense because she's black. Thanks for explaining that. Okay, I don't. Sure, I, I, sure, I. I didn't. I. Sure. I, I did. I. You know. I, yeah. Just, I, I, I. didn't get it until you. That explained was a it good joke. That definitely fell under what it should have gotten. <laughs> I got it. I don't think the explanation was necessary. Yeah. So basically, Lizzo, who is this like super body positive girl, right? She's been known as the girl. Like everyone's felt bad about all the body shaming that she's had you know what i mean this 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 woman should get an award for maintaining the exact same weight for her entire career because i don't think she's gained or lost a pound the entire time that well she's she been... has a nutritionist that sole job is to keep her brand fire yeah. her fire that no, nutritionist. that's why is because she's like i want to be like a vegan and i still need to be this symbol of body positivity so she hasn't gained or lost any weight that makes sense yeah. or else or else she gets a delt yeah, you know exactly. I mean? And that's why she has a nutritionist is to literally keep her fat. vegan and fat. fat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding you. Lizzo, it's come crazy. get come get your come get your milk. Your almond milk. Damn. Ugh, no more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be like my dancers. <laughs> Shut up, Lizzo. It's like a Nikocado avocado video. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he lost all that weight. Yeah, dude. I was happy for him. He finally fucking learned. <laughs> no, he was trolling the whole time, and now he's trolling Amberlynn Reed. Yeah, he's I haven't looked trolling. into it. I just I just know his original coming from being like an actual like health person right. into what he became. And I was like But he also made like fucker. millions of dollars off of gaining yeah. two hundred pounds, so it's like eh. Yeah, well, so did, did Jared, but look where he's at now, you know what I'm no, saying? He Wait, lost like Jared weight. from Subway? Oh, Jared yeah, made money because he lost, lost weight. weight. Yeah. Damn, dude. Jared from Subway gets canceled and he lost weight. And here we have fucking that's Lizzo. A horrible, that's a horrible comparison. That's Lizzo? terrible. Jared from Subway are the same person? Jared versus Lizzo? You're telling me Jared's in jail and Lizzo isn't? <laughs> Crook kid Lizzo. Crook kid Lizzo. Oh, my God. Start a hashtag on Twitter. Dude, I think this is like the perfect example of the hypocrisy that comes from these models, these, you know, these like celebrities. Yeah. You know, they spend the, it's like the irony of, uh, it's, it's like the irony of DiCaprio going up on stage, like talking to people about zero emissions. We got to save the planet. And yet he like the amount of, yeah, look up. Bro, what the fuck though? Liz was wild in. I know we'll we'll, we'll get into yeah. it. Yeah, I just I like her full name. I would never would have guessed that was her fucking name. Right. Look up how much uh, Leonardo DiCaprio has like spent in gas from like jets. You know, Cardi B's real name is Vel Velcalis Almanzar. We like looked this up on one of the last. I feel episodes. like it's not pronounced that way. <laughs> I remember looking this up on one of the last episodes. Yeah, she was wild. <laughs> Velcaris. Because she's uh, she's Dominican, right? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like some shit that you'd say, and then the furniture starts floating. Yeah, her and Stephen Hawking get the N word pass, for sure. Stephen Hawking. Yeah, we talked about. Oh, this. Y- you gotta watch yeah, the yeah, Patreon. Yeah, yeah. We, t- we talked about this in on I'm the Patreon. I'm not paying for our stuff. You can't say that in front. Of people. <laughs> Jesus. We all pay for it, people. I'm you should it. too. I'm not paying for it. Sorry, guys. I'm being real with my audience. I'm like you liars. <laughs> I'm out of Podcast sucks. <laughs> what the fuck are any of you here watching this? I have right. other shit to pay for. Okay? Yeah, so Leonardo DiCaprio goes 8,000 miles. We're admin, we get it. Just on one trip from Cannes to New York on a, like, you know, on a private jet that probably costs like so much money and, and like gas. But then he, but then he like turns around and like, you know, lectures people. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. But it's, it's just a, 
it's just to show that um, that all of this like you know all of these people saying that they're body positive, that they're pro this, that they're anti this, that it's it's got nothing to do with that actual person and their beliefs. And it's got everything to do with just like protecting themselves. It's from, a brand. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? Vegan Lizzo. It makes no fucking sense. <laughs> yeah, that bitch totally isn't up at night eating fucking a 12-piece KFC yeah. bucket. No. <laughs> She's just like a buffalo. She just grazes <laughs> yeah. and plays the flute. <laughs> Just in a field somewhere, be like, "There's Lizzo. We gotta love her." Just like... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a South Park episode. Yeah, that Herman would be eating the skin off the fucking KFC chicken. That's Lizzo. Yes. What a monster! I'm and her da- and her dancers are chicken, fucking skin. Right. Her dancers are getting fucking fired and sexually harassed oh, because like, they yeah. fucking. I just imagine her. They were like harassed in every way. They were like sexual harassed, racially discriminated, body shaming. I was like reading some of this shit. I was like, dog, what the She's fuck? She's just not a good person. No. And it's like, all these famous people get like outed for not being good people. And it's like, fucking duh. Like false imprisonment? What the fuck are you doing to your dancers for false imprisonment charges? Where did she in prison? They're like, I'm ready to go home. It's been 12 hours. You're not going anywhere until you get this number right, Jessica. Yeah. Do it again. One, two, three, four. Don't make me get the flute out, bitch. <laughs> She's like the Pied Piper. She like makes them dance until their feet bleed. <laughs> Jesus no Christ. one goes home until the flute is satisfied. <laughs> now I'm going to sit here and eat this vegan chicken bucket. It's okay. We can say this now because she's canceled. Yeah. It makes it okay. She's canceled and fat. Yeah. Girl, choose one. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be canceled and fat. I'm so just hung up on offer naming. Melissa Vivian Jefferson and her production company, Ew, Big her Girl, name is Big Melissa? Turning. Yeah. I Melissa, hate the name no. Melissa. That's what's even worse. Melissa Vivian. You know what? Seeing like Jefferson. Seeing how she treated people, she does seem like a She's Melissa. She's a Melissa, yeah. dude. She I fucking like hate the name Melissa. Even her middle name is fitting too, Vivian. On like our Both second episode. Both such bitchy names. <laughs> On our second episode, I said fucking anybody named Melissa or Clarissa was fucking awful. You did. Ooh, I feel yeah. like it's either like when there's a Mar- Marissa and a Clarissa in like the same vicinity, one's like really nice and the other's like an absolute cunt. It's always But Melissa. if there's only one, then it's always a cunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it's always, always. It's like Highlander, the there can only be one. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's so, it's just so hip- hypocritical, you know? It's absolutely amazing, dude. And she just, you know, she put a thing out on her Instagram that basically said that she was the victim and that these are false reports. And that's like, and it's so funny. Of course she's the victim. And all of her supporters who are probably so democratic are just like, we shouldn't believe all victims. <laughs> we should wait around for the facts. And I'm like, oh, wow. Look at how the turntables have turned. How, wicky, wicky, fresh. Wicky, wicky. How the turns have tabled. How the tables have tabled. The on, turns. Yes. On our good old friend Lizzo, who seems to be a one big of the girl, big touring. There was this uh, kind of meme going around that she was going to, um, that her apology would be just like a video of her playing like the flute and like doing an interpretive dance. I was going to say, I hope it's yeah. the interpretive dance bullshit. I love that so much. <laughs> She's like, I sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> And it was going to feature, uh, what's her face? The other girl who did the ukulele song. Oh my Fucking God. Miranda, Miranda Sings. Miranda Sings. Miranda Sings. And Mar- Melissa. Miranda, Miranda Melissa. Melissa feature, dude. That Wait, okay, well, so now we got to get the, the full compilation. Who was the original girl that did the... Uh, the dance? The yeah. The interpretive dance? Uh, fuck, what's her name? Look, From TikTok. Can you look her up? Interpretive dance apology interpretive, yeah. TikTok. Interpretive dance apology video. <laughs> I love how, like, dude, this entire year we've been getting a compilation Sienna. of why women should learn how to say sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sienna, Melissa, Miranda. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What okay. a compilation dude, of names. I, That's dude, perfect. Look. True. All right, let's 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 just talk to Lizzo real quick. Lizzo. Melissa. Melissa. Meli- <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Melissa. Girl, look. All right. If you want to save yourself, all right, don't admit that you did something wrong. Just do something to kind of say that you were wrong 
And then while also bringing up your own image and making you look good and like how cute you are and like how many good things, just do a song featuring Miranda Sings and have, uh, what's her name? Sienna. Sienna May do the interpretive dancing. And then donate. Problem fixed, dude. And then donate $500 to your local body positive charity. Yeah. And then have Lizzo join our Patreon. <laughs> it's going to be only Lizzo. Yeah. If Lizzo doesn't join the Patreon, yeah. the apology is not complete. I sure. feel like Lizzo with non-binary pronouns would make sense. You know? She's yeah. a thing. Yeah. They, them. She's a them. Yeah. You know? Well, then she wouldn't be considered hot anymore. Yeah, so. I feel like oh, I feel like the only people who should be certified to be able to like have they them pronouns should be people that take up at least two seats on an airplane. <laughs> Why? So we know to avoid them. <laughs> yeah, them exactly. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for using the correct uh, pronoun. pronoun. Yeah. Yeah, Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what they were born as, so I can misgender them. <laughs> <laughs> What's in your pants? <laughs> And it's like, oh, God, they were right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Only people fucking care about what's in their pants. Dude. God damn, dude. Yeah, dude. Okay, look, Lizzo, you got two options, and then we'll move on from here, all right? You can either do – you can do the um, the song featuring Miranda Sings that uh, has Miranda – that has uh, Sierra – what the fuck is her name? Sienna May. Sienna May. That's how fucking – like unpredict- she's yeah. so forgettable, dude. Sienna May, dude. So forgettable. Look, Lizzo. Okay, sounds like a D-rated porn star. <laughs> she probably is. Probably. <laughs> Lizzo, girl, make the song. All right, featuring Miranda sings and Sienna May doing the interpretive dancing. Or you got to come out as gay. You Either got one. Well, no, no, you can't do that anymore. That's not enough. You got to yeah, come out yeah. as trans or non-binary. Or, or trans non-binary. Or subscribe to the Patreon. Or subscribe to the Patreon. And These de- are the things Demi that are going to get you out of yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what you do is you just say that you're attracted to the other, you know, and it's the same thing. But then you just say that you're gay within the gay, and it's gay squared, and it works. It's, That's what yeah. you can do. Just um, like Albert yeah. Einstein's with the e- right. equals MC gay squared, yeah. <laughs> or join OnlyFans like the Island Boys, which I can't tell you how excited I am to show Bay. Because we've already gone through it on the Patreon. On the Patreon. Yeah, so if you, you want to see, see about our commentary that. on that, it is fucking fire. I limboy. <clears throat> Poor. Dude, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for our uh, producer right now. Because she, she has PA. to see this now for a second time. <laughs> she has to go through it. Have and you she heard is about so this? innocent. Uh, the Island Boys? Do you know who they are? Yeah, they're like the ones with the tats all over their faces. Yeah, and they're like, like twins, right? Yeah. Diamond ass yeah. teeth. Yeah. And they're like yeah. white, but they're like Cuban. Yeah. I'm just an island boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those those guys. They've been around for a minute. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh pull up the infamous video. <laughs> so they started an OnlyFans recently. Ew. And let me uh. just let me just say that their OnlyFans is out of this world, dude. Uh. This OnlyFans is out of this world. Okay. Over the past few weeks. Yeah, just mute it. What the fuck? Hold on. It gets better. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Guess <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I don't Look like it. Look at how it. cute these photos are, dude. I don't like that. And somehow the photo of him with his car is still the gayest photo. Dude, this guy's fucking hilarious. Okay, one final video before I get your guys' thoughts on these guys. Look up uh, Island's boy Island the Island Boys carrot video. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Sounds like one of those old school shock videos. Go down. Yeah. yeah. The Island Boys put a oh, gun on dude, me. Did they did they fucking did they take it down, dude? Look up uh, just look it up on uh, just Google. <clears throat> yeah, so these they have been Taken over the internet lately. He's been on Aiden Ross's stream. He's been on Adam 22, which kind of, it's fitting. You know what I mean? Right. It's just fitting. Um, you can't find it. Okay, so the video that we were trying to find, which there's no way we could put this on the stream. You're just going to have to find it yourself. But there's literally a video of one of them holding a carrot, and the other one is kind of like sucking the fucking carrot. 
Oh, yeah, that's great. Wilding. Absolutely <laughs> wilding. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Well, I guess it'd be Florida. Sweet home Florida. It's pretty close still, honestly. I know, man. Uh. So these guys have been making rounds, bro. Show, show one, like, one of their recent interviews on... on um, do uh, Island Boys, uh, Aiden Ross, dude. So, like, they're getting confronted by it. And basically, people are just being like, so why did you do this? Like, are you gay? Are you all of this, dude? But they literally went from, they were on Impulsive, dude. They were on Impulsive. Like, one of the, you know, that's a pretty big podcast, you know? Yeah. And they were literally just like, yeah, we're going to make money and don't matter. Like, we're hustlers, you know, we're gangsters, we're gangsters. And then all of a sudden, they got videos of them making out, bro. <laughs> Gross. Play it. Ugh. I think it's cute. I, it's cute. Aren't they brothers? Bro, look at them. They're twins. Did he just call him gay? You're really, really gay. You want to see us make out? Bro, you just kissed your brother. I love how they just deny it, bro. Oh my god, dude! They got they got their gaslighting on f advice from the fucking White House, bro. You know, yeah, we don't know where that cocaine Hillary. came from. Yeah, you made out with you made out with your your twin brother, and they're like, nah, nah, you're gay. Like, you're watching. We got a it. video of it right here. Look, look, you're making out with your brother, and they're like, what are you talking about, dude? You gay? And it's like, bro, you're in this video <laughs> making out with your fucking twin, and it's just like our analysts have shown that this has never happened in this country. In fact, since this administration, it's like, whoa, bro, <laughs> getting through they're making waves dude and get this we looked up how many likes they <laughs> have on their only fans right which gave us a vague number around of how many subscribers they had they have on their only fans i want you to guess Twenty four thousand. probably i mean we don't really know but they had a hundred wait likes or subscribers Subscribers, she said. Yeah, okay. They had 117,000 likes on, on, on OnlyFans. That's so a lot. Even if we take like a conservative portion of that and say that they're subscribers, let's say 10,000, they still would be making a quarter of a million dollars a every month. single month, which begs to differ. Is it incest or is it capitalism? Both. You know what I mean? Why not both? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's incestualism. It's no, that doesn't sound as cool. Inceptionism. Capsest. Incest. Capsest. Capsest. Cap just capsest. You know, these guys are just hustlers. You know, they're just no, they're definitely fucking weird dudes, bro. And they're, okay, one last video of the Island Boys. Uh, <laughs> you 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 ride like dirt bikes, right? I, sh motorcycles, but basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. You'll see. Just to show them, like, riding their dirt bike, dude, it's the most hilarious thing ever. Because these guys, they're so, like, not oriented. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like, zero bodily awareness. Can you ride a dirt bike with me? <laughs> Well, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> look up uh look up Island Boys uh four wheeler crash. Oh my god. I think somebody found footage from their security cameras of this guy not knowing how to ride it and they're like putting it all over the internet. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's got a McLaren in the fucking driveway, dude. Making bank. You know what? I'm not out here making out with my twin. You know what I mean? But maybe I don't got a McLaren key. in the driveway either. Yeah. Sounds like maybe you should be. So, you know, yeah, right? Like, I need to be on my hustle, dude. Sounds like that's the key. But also, okay, let's try to think about it from their perspective. Let's say that we give them the benefit of the doubt. They're not actually gay, you know, or they're not really into it, but they're just, like, doing it just for attention.
because their name fell off, dude, right? Like, they got known as the Island Boys. They had huge numbers, and then all of a sudden, no one gave a fuck about yeah, them. Yeah, they had, like, three hits, if that. Yeah. They didn't even have three hits. They had that. They they had the Island Boys they sang on, like, TikTok, and yeah. that's what, like, blew up, right? And then they made, like, a shitty trap, like, professionally, like, made version of it, which really wasn't that good either. True. And then they went on to Impulsive, which was, I think, like, their tippy top. Like, that's where, like, they were really well known, right? And then they dove off, and now they're making out OnlyFans, and now every person with the big podcast is talking about the fucking Island Boys. Like so, us. Exactly. We're doing it right now. There will be some guy. Some guy will be like, you know what? For research purposes, maybe I should just put in my credit card information and check it out. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so did they win? Yeah. They won, right? Yeah. It, it, whether if they're incestuous little, you know, little fuck Gremlins. boys and they be holding each other's like, you know, pinky toes, you yeah. know, at night, you know, they lock on and then that's how they sleep. That's what I like to imagine. A pinky, but, the pinky toes. Yeah, they're just like, hey, like, don't leave without me. <laughs> I'd be tuck- so confused if I would just sleep grabbing my pinky toe around somebody else's pinky toe. They just tuck each other in. I'd be. They just tuck each other in. They, like, go to the other side and they're just like, are you all cozy? And you're like, yeah. He's like, can I get a goodnight kiss? And it's just like, yeah, but it's not on OnlyFans. And I'm like, so who said that we don't have to do it when there's not on OnlyFans? <laughs> there's just one that's really into it. And the other one's just like, bro, we just did it for the fucking money. He's like, we should practice. Oh, we should practice. We should just practice. What people if, say know, we're faking yeah, it. Yeah, people say that we're faking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gaslight them. Just gaslight them. They're like, we don't, you don't want to be fake, do you? Like, no, I don't want to be fake. But like, then we should probably learn to, to look at, make it look like, then you, you, know, bro- you probably kiss me, bro. Maybe we like it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe both of us maybe like it. We're just, it's just a natural thing. You know, it's just a thing that we do from now on. <laughs> Just like super into it. Oh think- my god! <laughs> <laughs> Unfucking believable, dude. The news has been all over the place. It seems like that's been like the most important story. Like that in like the twenty twenties have been such a fucking wild decade so far. Do you believe in the conspiracy theory that like in twenty twenty when like the world ended, that world ended, but now we're just like all in one giant DMT trip? Not necessarily with how wild shit's been. It's fucking possible, man. Yeah. Like at this point, just like glitch in the matrix or something. Something we're just we're just all in Lizzo's head. Yeah. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. nightmare. He's like, I'm getting canceled for calling bitches fat. <laughs> I'm not fat. <laughs> I'm just big able bodied. Big able bodied, barely. My, yeah, my body fat identifies as non binary. <laughs> <laughs> for they fucking them, dude. That's what, dude, that's a they, them. What? The Island Boys. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we're like, what, Google? <laughs> right? <laughs> They're one and the same, dude. True. You know? I guess they are they. It's they. There are two of them. That's they, them. Why are we finding so many, like, good ways to use this pronoun, you know, these pronouns like this? But the p- people in the real world, like, don't use it like that. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. You know what I mean? So many different ways you can use they, them. You know, devils call themselves by they, them? Do they? Yeah. They call it, they talk in like, as like we. Like third person? Yeah, like third person. Which like, wasn't talking third person considered like very, you know. Mental illnessy. No, because I feel like back then, like, you know, when you were king, you're just like, we are the royal we, you know what I mean? We have decided we that have you decided. will not be getting food this winter. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And that's going to be our president in like eight years. We have decided that if you misgender us, you will be thrown in prison. You will be thrown in prison and Lizzo will play the flute for 18 hours a day and call you fat in your cage. <laughs> it's okay because she is black. <laughs> <laughs> not fat though. Do not make that mistake. <laughs> You just you just in your cell, just be like you know this isn't that bad, and you just hear like flute in the distance. Just <laughs> boom, boom, <laughs> boom. They go, oh god, they they got drums too. <laughs> you fat ass bitch. <laughs> it's about Sam time. <laughs> <laughs> Start taking her talking as like a drop. 
Yeah, dude. When you when do you you know when you, when do you need Oppenheimer when you need him? You know what I mean? You need a big old drop, dude. Mm-hmm. Is that what Lizzo was? He was just the failed atomic experiment, and then she just became like a, <laughs> a fucking hip hop star <laughs> that goes around just like total lack of like. Walks around like the walking poop emoji. The walking poop. It was said. It was said that she looked like that. It was the the black podcast. The p- <laughs> what? The one where they're all like hood guys. The podcast. <laughs> the blood. The the podcast. The what's that? That's the black podcast. <laughs> Be like, why do they have different fountains here, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Whoa. I haven't kinda, seen a white what person kind of on there. Podcast is this, dude? I haven't seen a white person on there, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's true discrimination there. I'm just saying. Yeah, who said, uh, yeah, just look up on YouTube, <laughs> it looks like a poop emoji. <laughs> I forgot what comedian said it, dude, but it was hilarious. Yeah, it's a thing, dude. See, I told you. Lizzo? Yeah, bro, have you heard her shit, bro? I got the song right, you know? I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like a shit emoji. <laughs> very pretty face, but she keeps showing her body off, nigga. Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, yo. Lizzo? God damn. <laughs> she does, dude. It's okay. She's canceled. We can say this, right? She's an enemy of the public. That's how it works. It we could say yeah. shit about things that people are seen as the enemy. Okay, just have to make sure. Yeah, you like O.J. Simpson. Like O.J. Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, O.J. Simpson. Dude, that's a throwback. I can't even. <laughs> Fucking white Broncos. <laughs> Every Gen Z's like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> O.J., not till Sunday, bitch. <laughs> I spent most of the time. <laughs> right, dude. Unbelievable. Yeah, dude, it seems like, it seems like the, like, this whole, this whole time. And I, I, on top of that. I think Trump got indicted on more fucking things. He did. Dude. He did. What is he doing that's so bad? They're just char- They're just like. They really are. They're just charging shit. This <laughs> way. They're just like eighty four bro- counts of jaywalking, and he's like, "Wow, I fought my helicopter everywhere. I'm good at many things, but not jaywalking. I, I would never, never do that. I never, yeah. ja- I never jaywalked in my life. And then before you know it, CNN's like, here's a, a breaking video of of our president jaywalking, dude. Oh my god, mm. I don't care." I, right, like, how are they? They just think like one of these has to stick, right? And you know what? It's to try to keep our mind off of the fact that Biden can't literally talk. Like, that's great. That's so great. He I can would, mumble. He can mumble and fall over, and that's about all he's good. He can talk for. about ice cream. He can, um, uh, you know, hide his uh, son's crack addiction. Yeah. yeah, he's still good at that. I fucking love ice cream. I fucking... I right, Joe. <laughs> it's Thanks. like, I can't believe, like, you know, Joe Biden, how horrible, like, he's doing in office. And you're like, but I fucking love ice cream, dude. I really do like ice cream, though. It's the one thing he's doing right. He's doing, one, he's doing ice cream right. Ice cream has never been better under this presidency. <laughs> fucking, who's that black chick that just, like, lies to everyone all fucking day? Lizzo. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just make that like the press secretary, and she'll just be up there like... (laughs) Ice cream for all. Lizzo, can you please tell us why we're now entering our third, like, worst time depression? People are, you know, unemployment's the worst that it's ever been. Milk is now officially $68. What do you have to say, Lizzo? And she's like, sorry. Pied Piper's that bitch. Everybody shoots themselves. Right. And then Joe just comes around and he's just like, who got chocolate mint? Oop, you get a scoop. You get a scoop. And then Lizzo smacks it out of your hand and calls you, you fat. fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lizzo. Bad Lizzo. You got sued last time, Lizzo. <laughs> Body positivity, Lizzo. And she's like, mm. Sorry. <laughs> I just hate fat people. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, it made me this way because people called me fat. <laughs> That's why 
thought I was going to eat their ice cream. And I was so, I just, yeah, she just takes all the fucking ice cream. Dude, that's why she's like, that's why she's shaming her. Oh my God, it makes sense, dude. Think about it. She shames them, then takes their food and she's like, I'm going to throw this away. And then she goes in the back and she's like. (laughs) Just like when the cops take my drugs away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she like refills her like energy with like the tears of other Uh, fat bitches. Fat bitches who lost their pants. Panda Express. Yeah, and she just like morphs into like a bigger form of Lizzo. <laughs> Highlander. Oh my god. This isn't even my final form. This is even my final <laughs> form. You're fat. <laughs> You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't even hold a tune. <laughs> it's like a South Park villain. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lizzo is out of control. Now making like total destruction of New York City. Just it's like, about damn time. Yeah. <laughs> New York City, City is officially destroyed by Lizzo and Kai Sinat. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kai. Did you see that? Pull it up. Pull it up, dude. Kai what, Sinat. Okay. So what did Kai Sinat do now, man? Look up uh, Kai Sinat. Uh, Inciting a riot. I blame my Look spice. up the video, dude. It's it's ridiculous. So Kai Sinat is the top streamer on Twitch. Yeah. Right. Right. And like he, <clears throat> like has a huge audience. This dumbass. Not only him, but he also has a company that looks after his image and like his whole management and stuff like that. Right. They decided to post on his social media that they were going to do a free giveaway and meet and greet in the middle of Times Square, New York City. Listen, there are millions of people that fucking, like, love this guy and watch him almost every single day. So he literally put this out. And just like you would think would happen, 10,000 fucking kids showed up to Times Square and just turned into, like, a giant riot, dude. Like, Oh, no. It was like... Child riot? Band name called it. Child riot? Yeah, that's a pretty good name. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? No, it it literally looked like the BLM riots. It was ridiculous, dude. Like, because he was going to give away some PS5s. He ends up, like, being charged away, dude. He got arrested. For doing that? He got arrested for, like, incite. Look, they're, like, grabbing him off. <clears throat> That's not his fault, though. Well, no, because famous people can still be liable if they tell a bunch of people to come and, like, there's a bunch of damages and stuff like that. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, my fucking God. Look at that. That is huge. That is a huge, huge crowd. For five video games. Yeah, five PS5s. Well, also, it was a meet and greet, though. So they all thought that they could meet him. People are just grabbing onto his car. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh my god. New Yorkers are fucking wild, dude. What's that? What's chaos. that? Uh, we now know more than 60 65 people were arrested. And hundreds of people were treated and it took a thousand police officers. A thousand police officers? Imagine being one of the people that got arrested. Now you have a record and it's like, what are you in for? I wanted a PS5 from Kai Sinat. Dude, it looks like World War Z. Yeah. You know what I mean? Holy shit, that is so scary. <clears throat> oh okay. my fucking god. <laughs> oh my fucking now, god. Now pull up a video of World War Z like uh like mass mass zombies Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, no, go back. Do the city one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Look at how similar this is. Go to the middle. Because that's like when all the action is. Yeah, more back. Look at this is what this is what Times Square looked like. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it looks like Times Square too, dude. Kai Sinat! <laughs> I want my PS5! Kai, I love you, Kai! <laughs> Oh, my 
my god, Kai! 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 They're all running towards Kai. <laughs> <laughs> His car is going this way. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, this is literally what it looked like. For real. Even more people in the actual video. <laughs> Jesus. So what are your thoughts on it? Like like you said, you don't think it's it's his fault. What do you no. think? <sighs> I think it is his fault, especially for the publicity team. I mean, New York, I mean, New York Times Square, especially like that's such a high populated area, such a high area of traffic too. Like if you're going to do it, don't choose like the busiest, like center of town. The very least, like, like you said, he has such a huge following. It's, it makes sense it's going to happen. Like you can't broadcast it live on like a Twitch thing, you know, at the very least, don't make it like a public thing. Like times square, you have to like have a venue subs or like, you know, people who make a, make a a private space, like like, literally rent out location. Yeah. But then why can like people like Grizz and people like that do pop up concerts on rooftops in Denver? Cause they get public, they get private rights to do it. Yeah. That's true. They network. They're they're at like some kind of Yeah. But anybody can come in. Well, and if there was 10,000 people that wanted to go to that concert, just like in Times Square, they would do the same exact shit. Just because you have a space doesn't mean that your space is going to be respected. I'm sure that this Kai guy had a bunch of fucking security. That didn't mean shit. It took a he thousand had, police had officers. Like four very hard work in security, dude. If there's looking, if you look at the video, dude, of this security, they look so stressed, dude. Yeah, see if you could bet. find it. Look at uh, Kai Sinat's uh, security in New York City. Um, but look, okay, so here's what I think. <clears throat> I think there are two sides to this, right? <clears throat> like. <clears throat> Any person can go on the internet and say, hey, I'm going to be here at this time, right? That's that's totally okay, right? Any person can do that. No problem. It's not illegal, right? But now all of a sudden, if you have followers, is it wrong that he said, hey, I'll meet up with you on top of being like, I'll give you stuff? You know what I mean? And no, be like, because people can here. do meet and greets. <clears throat> Other people can do meet and greets. Just because more people showed up to this meet and greet – than most meet and greets isn't his fault. Like, did you hear about the story where the girl had 1.6 million followers and she hosted a meet and greet and nobody came? You <laughs> never know what's going to happen. Like, you n- it's- I'd cry. That was like a Nikita Dragon. When no, she- it was some, like, black girl who sold bracelets or something. I don't know. Yeah, I saw that. That one was bad, dude. That one was real No bad. one like, came, yeah. There was another one with Nikita Dragon and, like... And I think it was like she was like walking in front of the line expecting people to be like, oh my God, Nikita Dragon. You know what I mean? And then she walked in front and people were like, hi, Nikita. And it was like eight people <laughs> that was going to go see her. Oh my God. Yeah. And, and just, dude, look at that. They were arresting motherfuckers. See, a, it looks like the BLM riots, dude. A thousand police officers. A thousand. <sighs> Yeah, right. So what does this mean for the future, dude, for famous people? Like, they could just literally, they can cause that much destruction or whatever just from being like, I'm going to be here at this time. You know, that really just shows the social media is taking over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that like, <clears throat> and none of those people are older. This is all young people. That yeah, they take the bus to, to get it. there. Yeah. Imagine the fucking bus drivers. They're just like, what the fuck is going on downtown? Carson Nat! Carson Nat! What's going on? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I look, I think there's two sides. Like, one, like, I feel like it's wrong that one person can do something, but another person who just happens to be famous, like, can do that too because you know stream uh i mean stream sniping is huge yeah where like people will go and like they'll literally if they're if you're streaming you're famous people will find the place that you're like at and they'll call them and like do bomb threats or they'll like tell them like hey this guy's like in your you know the swatting yeah and then they'll literally have people so like there's streamers who've been swatted in restaurants they've been swatted in their own homes you know what i mean yeah Mm. and it's terrifying yeah Especially like actual <clears throat> swatting, like because usually when it involves like a bomb threat or a gun or act yeah. of violence, like they come in guns first. Like they are ready to come and shoot it. Oh, especially if it's like, a bomb. Threat, yeah, like which, your life is immediately on the line. Which if you is move one thing wrong, you're nuts. done because somebody called it. Yeah, because all you need is an address. 
you could technically go into like the yellow books, right? Go find a random address, call the police in that jurisdiction, and be like, I believe that this bomb, this house has bombs. And then they'll go and like, like completely knock down your door. No yeah. warrant, no nothing. You know what? Also, police can do like without a warrant. <clears throat> they can enter your house if it's a wellness check. Yeah, which is crazy, mm-hmm. right? <clears throat> so that means all you need to do to like for it perfectly to be legal, like literally any cop can just knock your door down with a fucking you know, and do can just call it a wellness check. They're just checking on you. Yep, and it's completely legal. And you have to cooperate with them and, like, show them that you're okay. And they have the right also, if they determine it, which is, like, they can literally say anything. They can say that, oh, he's unwell and go take you to a mental hospital. Yep. Terrifying. You better be careful, okay? We got ops out here, all right? (laughs) I'm going to send your ass to the fucking loony bin, which I'm sure, like, isn't, like, that crazy anymore. You know what I mean? Uh... Based on what I've heard, you they know. They just got AOC in these loony bins just being like, just boob therapy. They just stare at her boobs for like eight hours long and they're like, I feel better. You know. <laughs> I can see it working. <clears throat> AOC wouldn't let this happen. Kai Sinat would not be out here causing fucking riots in New York City. But yeah, look up, he got charged with something. Can you look up the, like what he got charged with? But, like, on her, on, like, you know, Bay saying, it's like, yeah, you shouldn't be treated any differently than anyone else. Like, the laws are meant to be for every single person identically, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, if you know you have that many followers, especially in New York City, you yeah. know, like, you know, thousands of kids are going to come out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what did you, ex- like, do you really expect them all to be cordial and be like, excuse me, excuse me? It's New York City. Dude. Yeah. You know? Like, people... Don't do that. They were out for no reason. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> They'll write because somebody spilled milk in a grocery store. So the, this is a law, actually. Inciting a riot. And promoting an unlawful and promoting gathering. promoting an unlawful gathering. Just me and the Save boys. for the OnlyFans. Just me and the boys being slightly gay. <laughs> in a parking lot. <clears throat> unlawful <laughs> gathering. Yeah, this is an unlawful gathering. Whatever you're doing. At, like, what are you doing? Like, we're just jiggling our our cheeks we're twerking we're just twerking in the parking lot with lizzo because she's lost her job and her career now she's just in the parking lot and just being like i call a bitch fat now you know like, you guys want to listen to some flute like no <laughs> no sounds like you guys are in study garage right, right? <laughs> be like does anyone know how to dance here be like lizzo uh, <laughs> stop <laughs> So he got charges of inciting a riot. And it, I think it's like he's facing up to three years in jail. That's fucking wild. So if they want to make like a, if they really want to make like a, you know, a thing out of him, you know, they can. But I don't think they can because he's black. And it's going to look bad. Oh, he's black? It is New York. Oh, yeah, they can't do that. Yeah, Kai Sinat is. Uh, they need Kalamata Olive's bitch ass to come throw him away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have charged him, and his sentence is he's going to come out here and say he's really, really sorry on the mic. <laughs> he just comes out and he's like, so they talked to me, and they said that I shouldn't tell people to come to an area because a lot of people like me, so I'm sorry. Okay, everybody, get back to it. Uh, we're just going to take his like $3.5 million fine. <laughs> no jail. For yeah. real. You know what I mean? I feel like he can buy his way out of it. It's going to be a wild time when literally Kai Sinat and like Donald Trump are going to be in the same courthouse. Yeah. They're in, they're, they share a cell. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, I started a lot of riots in my day, but let me tell you, son, there's nothing like that. I just thought it was like World War Z. It's unbelievable. They were scaling the sides. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, kid. <laughs> I saw them riding on your car. That was incredible. Right. Oh, no, she got bit. Lay down. Everyone get out. Guy Sinat. Guy Sinat. What's my Twitch login? W's in chat. <laughs> oh, no. W's in chat. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> like dude, that's 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 what's gonna happen. Dude. I, s- I swear to God, I don't like his because in the future, like social media is gonna be so huge. Like, what happens when it's like leaked? You know, I guess it's like you can't ask people to come. You know what I mean? Well, I don't <clears> think he did ask people to come. He was just like, I'm gonna give away some shit and be here for a meet and greet. That, he wasn't like, please, everybody, rush to Times Square. <laughs> Everyone grab your children. <laughs> I don't think, well, because that's the thing. Like, how do you fucking know how many people are going to show up? That Like, that's this. He knows. He knows how many people. Follow. Right. But like, so then how, how would he ever do a meet and greet? Is he supposed to rent out a stadium? He yeah. could hold 40,000 fucking Probably. people. Yeah. I th- I think like most artists, like even like book signings, and like you like rent out a personal space, and you literally put out like there's only room for like X amount. Yeah, and then charge people, so it's not worst like, case. Crazy. Yeah, this has actually happened. Uh, look up a YouTuber charged with inciting riot in California. There was another YouTuber who was pretty big, and he told people to like go meet him. No, I think it was. Uh, oh, what's that one kid's name? Not YouTuber rapper. <clears throat> Lil Xan. Lil Xan fucking... Shut the fuck up. Lil Xan got, I think, got charged or whatever with inciting a a, a, a riot. What? Xan. X A N. I actually kind of like Lil Xan, so that's hilarious. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Xan, Lil Xan on how he started a, a riot in uh, Go Up. In Redlands. Redlands, California, dude. Dude, he fell off, dude. Fell off so hard. Deserved. Nuh-uh. He's a good kid. Nah, dude. He stopped making music. If you stop making music, you're gonna fall off. Yeah. Unless you're the island boys. <laughs> but he just didn't have a twin that he could make out with on OnlyFans. <laughs> he, he didn't put diamonds in his teeth. Yeah. Just anyways, like it, it, he doesn't I, really he's boring as fuck. So I, I don't want to watch him. But like he talks about the time that he also did the exact same thing. He he just let people know, hey, I'm doing a meet and greet here. And so many kids showed up that like that they had to fucking like they had to like shut it down with the cops and they literally charged him. Like, they charged him, like, what the time was for the police. Like, he had to so, basically rent the police. So, what happens, so, like, okay, but here's the thing as well. So, like, what about, like, Comic-Con and shit, like, the convention center in, like, downtown? You never know how many fucking people are going to show up to something. Yeah, you do. You pay no, tickets. No, you don't. You can you can come to the place. You buy tickets for Comic-Con. You can come to the place and buy tickets there. And also, if you want to just get past security and there's 10,000 yeah, of you, you, people are you like can just in the walk building. past. They're just no not, one's just like, Stop yeah, they don't. They don't just put it like in the streets. They have a rented out area. That right, they but hang nobody's out gonna in. stop you. Like, what you think? You think that the six security guards at Comic Con are gonna be able to stop ten thousand people? If they had Lizzo on their side, they would. <laughs> you're fat, bitch. You're fat. You're fat. You're fat. fat. <laughs> oh no, she's using her twerk move. <laughs> Earthquake initiated. That's what New York needed, bro. Lizzo could have defended New York. That's all he had to do, Kai Sinat. All he had to do was hire Lizzo. Then she would have been forgiven because she would have saved the city. The Just... hero we didn't know we needed, but the hero we deserved. <laughs> the, the newest Spider-Man of the multiverse. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, I'm just imagining, like, Marvel, like, when all the aliens are coming out of the portal and you just see Lizzo's, like, her flute just coming out of the portal. It's like Thor's hammer. (laughs) She's just coming out, like, (laughs) just pounding down on all of these, like, Kai Sinat fans. And they're just out there, just like... (laughs) <laughs> setting on ps5 bombs yeah 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 right. starts playing your flu they all start twerking that would be like a seismic reaction dude i don't think new york has had an earthquake in how long has new york ever had an earthquake i These... don't know if it's on any plates i think it's like the west coast that's mainly on the plates yeah i don't think so no there was an earthquake 1884 ah. was the last one 1884 okay so we're overdue got it 
damn, imagine if it happened when the riot was going on. <laughs> <laughs> imagine it happens when Lizzo comes to town to play a concert. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <sighs> Lizzo. <laughs> it's like Godzilla. <laughs> Why wow, man great till they gotta be great? <laughs> <laughs> right. Lizzo. Dude, apparently Lizzo actually like mentioned it in a song where she talked about like how her ex employee was like suing her. I don't know what song it is. Lizzo suing song. Suing something. <laughs> dude, the Google. My Google searches are so weird, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> the FBI agent's like, he's, for one, he's fully aware of our Lizzo project. It seems that it's a cat out of the bag. We're going to have to go ahead and take him out. <laughs> take all the pig Whitney. Take we're gonna, all We're going to want to try that when we get back. <laughs> I've heard great things from this man's laptop. <laughs> You're just bringing up the lyrics. I just took a DNA test. Turns now, out. This shit was fucking came out in like 2014. Yeah. I don't know. It can't be that song. Outrageous not to be addressed. Past lyrics raise eyebrows after singer is sued by former dancers. Maybe this is it. Lyrics from famous Lizzo songs. Catch dildos launched from performers' vaginas and eat bananas protruding from performers' vaginas. Excruciating 12-hour audition after accusing them of drinking before performances. That sounds like projection. She is a bitch, dude. She's like the... Eat this banana out of this pussy. Okay, What? Sounds what's, like sexual harassment. What's the that blonde, uh, fat, uh, like English guy, that Corbain or whatever, that's like a late night host? Oh, oh, oh yeah, Kurt Anthony Corbain. Corbain. Cor- did you say Kurt Cobain? I did. <laughs> Anthony Corbain. The, the name you say, yeah. Anthony. It's an Anthony. I think it's Anthony. I don't think it's Anthony. Andrew. Andrew Corbain. These are all like distant relatives of Kurt Cobain. <laughs> <laughs> One's in some house and fucking. <laughs> no, I know who you're talking about. Uh, yeah. What the fuck is his name? He's a late night show host. Everybody yeah. fucking hates him. C o r b a i n, right? Yeah, something Corbain. Or. There he is. James Corden. James Corden. James Corden. Corden. What? Yeah. Dude. What is it going to say? Oh, that yeah. was not even close. I knew it wasn't close, but also I couldn't fucking remember it either. We were just not on the. Oh, on my path. God. None of us are going to get that anytime soon. I know. We're like Kurt Coke and Cobain. <laughs> Fucking punk Should be rock fair. artist from the 1990s. <laughs> Should be fair. Google knew what we wanted. We said, we literally said I don't think Corbain. Dead, Kurt Cobain has a late show host who's from the UK all of a Are sudden. You sure? <laughs> Back from the dead and now I'm from the UK. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20. Wow. Fuck Courtney Love, eh? <laughs> this writer strike is really hurting us. <laughs> 2023, you never know what's about to happen. <laughs> late night with Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find anybody else. She was the only one. <laughs> you get an eating disorder, and you get an eating disorder. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, dude. It's like that, and uh, Ellen, dude. All these people that yeah. were like so like amazing and I accept you and I And they're like, Don't look Ellen in the eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look her in the eye. Don't look her in the eye or, or she's gonna curse you and she's like, oh, yeah, she's like, oh, yeah. she's gonna be like, oh my god, like okay, what's going on? She Bring me on. my Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, her wife. I know, but I'm just imagining her <laughs> as like a car that she drives around. <laughs> She's like, honey, why don't you keep it a little easy on the gas? She's like, shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm Ellen. <laughs> you know what my ratings are? You know, it's not funny, but funny about that is that Ellen's wife, Portia, has an eating disorder. <laughs> She's been hanging out with Lizzo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> They're opposite ends of the spectrum. Full circle. Yeah, full, full circle. circle. Yeah. It all makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> 
and Kai Snat just helping by like <laughs> distract everybody. <laughs> and there's fucking aliens. <laughs> aliens, it's Kai Sinat. Like, Kai Sinat and fucking Lizzo. And they're all in the Illuminati, bro. It makes sense. So what's sense. really going on? Is it? Is there going to be an earthquake in New York? Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Could you imagine the next episode? Like, uh, we would like to formally apologize uh, for our prediction. Um, we uh, are sad for the losses of family members. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine the first earthquake since 1884? Hell no, dude. I'd go on a world tour. I would become a fortune teller if that happened. It happens all the time. We just start scamming people like fucking professionals. Yeah, or fucking be Lizzo, bro. Like, literally, all these people have been scamming people. They, they're scamming people because they present themselves as these, like, good people, you know? Like, they're, oh, you know, and then they, like, they have this, they're just totally different people behind you know, behind the scenes. Not us, though. Like the Righteous we Gemstones. We yeah, which is an amazing show. I've been watching this show. I out of told it. you! So I good. told you! I told you! It's my favorite show. It's my favorite show ever. I even watched the show where they made the monster truck for the Righteous Gemstones. <laughs> Super fun. No, favorite. I'm actually watching the new episode tonight. You know, it's it at got 9 a... o'clock on Sundays, everybody, on HBO. It got renewed for a fourth season. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, dude. Okay, I think. Uh, God damn. I think this is a good way to Have end it. Have you seen it yet? Then you don't fucking judge me. You watch that shit. He did the same thing. He was like, "Yeah, it it's can't great." Be that good. We'll show you a little bit later um, when we get so it through. Good. Look up the uh, the podcast with. Uh, oh fuck! What's his name? The main guy. The black podcast. Nope. <laughs> Who's that guy? Obama. <laughs> Obama, yeah, yeah, he, he had his own podcast though. Just like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> the Obama podcast. Obama with Morgan yeah. Freeman. Yeah, he has a podcast. He does. Yeah. No. No, he doesn't. Yeah, Obama has a podcast. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Rose. <laughs> Rose. She's on it. And it's with like a. a it's rock, called Renegades. With a rock star. Who is it? I think it's uh, Springsteen. Renegades what the born fuck? in the USA. Our unlikely friendship. And Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen and President Obama. Uh, full circle. Full circle. <laughs> it, it makes sense, right? Because Lizzo is in the music and she knows Bruce Springsteen. And she's black. And she's black. And Kai Sinat, black. black. <laughs> what are y'all trying to insinuate here? The fucking cancel culture and fucking you know the Q and they they're anonymous and the fucking world and flat and you know Illuminati. Yeah, and then this and then you know uh, Lil Xan. And then, Lil Xan for sure. He's just and a secretary. Island boy. Island boy. <laughs> They're, they're just trying to get into the Illuminati. It makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> it makes sense because in the Illuminati, they apparently like make you want to, uh, what is it, like uh, humu- like humiliation? Yeah, um, humiliate yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is, like uh, like when you go when you join a frat. Oh, uh, uh, hazing. Hazing. Yeah, I know, but like there is a specific kind. There's like these ancient like look up the like connection of hum- like humiliation um, with uh, not cults, but Frat power, frat boys like frat boys spanking compilation. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "Please no." This is the extent. This is the spectrum that our podcast is on. You know, at one moment we're just like the Illuminati. Lizzo's gonna be a giant monster, and then Kai Sinat's gonna join them, and then they're gonna be one giant. They're gonna make out with the Island Boys. <laughs> <laughs> and then later we're just like the economic uh, occurrency of that what happens when the economy <laughs> seems to be struck by the presidency. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, do you know how hard it is to describe the podcast to people when they go, well, what's it about? And I'm like, everything. Uh, controversial comedy. Life. I just say, yeah, I just say comedy, whatever Life. is like currently trending, whatever is trending. Yeah. True. We were talking about trending. <laughs> right. Comedy if you and, know what to describe news. our podcast is, please comment below. The best news source of all time. Right. <laughs> please don't get your news from us, news. I don't know. I would humiliate myself to, like, be an Illuminati. I just want to, like, hang out. You know what I mean? You're I already doing the I, podcast. I don't know if I would do that. What if it's lame? Like, it's just, like, some room somewhere, and they got, like, you know, like, the... the it's the, like a bunch of Discord mods. The disc, like, the coffee machine that they have, like, in, in like, old hotels. 
Ew, and that hair dryer that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, they have a hair dryer at this meeting. Be like, this is the holy hair dryer. This is where we decide whether it fits that we sacrifice Lizzo or I thought you were talking about Sinet. a hotel room. <laughs> I was talking about, like, the lobby. You know when you get free continental <laughs> breakfast? Same lobby! Why would you? I don't know why. I think it's hilarious to envision the Illuminati just meeting at, like, a continental breakfast. <laughs> Like a Holiday Inn. And like a Holiday, holiday Inn. Yeah. <laughs> George Bush. It's like two thousand. It's like two thousand with the powdered. Yeah, eggs. it's like it's like year two thousand. <laughs> he's just sitting there, just like turning over his waffle. The Belgian waffle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, ooh, I, I love Belgian waffles. <laughs> I don't know why, like why Bush just turned into a black man. Belgian waffles. I love me some Belgian waffles. <laughs> he's got a cover up for the towers. No, no, he's from Texas. He sounds like <laughs> this. Yeah, I'm George Bush. 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 Yeah, I love Belgian waffles. My <laughs> name's Bush, and I love Bush. That's where that, that's where they're deciding everything, you know? Yeah, the Continental Breakfast. The Continental Breakfast. That's, why it's, that's why it's called the Continental yeah, They all breakfast. have, like, their robes on and everything, yeah. and they're just... <laughs> like, they're, like, in full black robes. Yeah, yeah. George. <laughs> well, it makes perfect sense. Pass the butter. Because yeah, they're all creepy old men who would love to Co- go the, fucking in the pool afterwards, in yeah. the four feet of water. <laughs> In the hotel pool where it never gets any deeper than four feet. So if you stand straight up, it's always going to be hip level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see Biden wanting to be in that with his long That's what I'm saying. I can see Biden just eating ice cream still in the club, but they don't let him make any decisions anymore. You know, he's just kind of like the child. They they leave him there. They all go to the pool. Yeah, he's got like floaty bug. (laughs) And it's just like, it's just... (laughs) <laughs> guys we're going to make more decisions later biden yeah. it's just like nancy pelosi like in one of those like floaties <laughs> just like with a hat on be like so who should we sacrifice next kai sanat or how Lil about Zan. Lizzo? remember she's like we could tell everyone that she's like hypocritical or whatever yeah because yeah. she's fat she's like why don't we do both of them wouldn't that be funny <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty funny. What do you think, Joe? And he's like, I like ice cream. <laughs> he agrees. He agrees. All right, let's sacrifice both of them. <laughs> public public humiliation. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't we don't need them anymore. You know, <laughs> like we'll go ahead and just like make like a just like what if we riot with him? Be like, don't don't you think we've done enough with the black ones? You know, I feel like we do too many riots with them. Back to the Mexicans. Yeah, Joe Biden's just like, I like ice cream. <laughs> Joe agrees. <laughs> yeah, Joe agrees. <laughs> yeah, he agrees. <laughs> That's got to be what the Illuminati's like, dude. I refuse to think that, like, I feel like it's uh, a lot, like, it's um, kind of, like, overhyped. There has to be some kind of, like, behind-the-scenes yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. But I feel like they don't have as much power as people, like, really think that they do. No, or else Del Taco would not be in business. Boom. After their Illuminati commercials. Did they have Illuminati You commercials? didn't see those? You know what I'm talking about, right? No. Oh, wait, no, wait that, was, that was Taco Bell that was doing that. Y'all, y'all remember? You don't know what I'm talking about, right? No. They were literally running commercials yeah. where they were talking about like underground secret cult parties, and they were serving like Taco Bell and shit. They literally like made like Illuminati commercials. Yeah. You know, DIA like, made D- like a commercial or whatever. Dude, they were putting it in the airport. Yeah, where they were like talking. They were like literally like teasing at the. At Dude, the no, I flew during like, those yeah. periods. I was walking by, and they were just like construction. Or building more secret tunnels. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like... They're in on the joke. No, okay, we'll end with the Taco Bell um, Illuminati. Talk about yeah. Illuminati commercials. We've gone so... I feel like... like I am not smoking crack. Dude, here. I feel like we've learned so much during this podcast. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, about Illuminati. Which one are you Very first thing, the Bell Illuminati. No, I don't think that was it. Uh, type in it just in YouTube. Yeah, like throw that first YouTube thing right there. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There's a powerful connection between the dollar and Taco Bell. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> the Continental Breakfast, dude. <laughs> yeah. Burritos. Taco Bell. I wasn't kidding. 
What the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah. They're so self No, like, they made, like, two or three of these. Yeah. There was, like, two or three different versions. Yeah, these were, like, they were, like, dollar menu or whatever. I remember Watch Taco this. Bell being owned by the Rothschilds. They all just go there on lunch break. Like, I remember watching these live on TV and thinking this was the weirdest fucking commercial I've ever seen in yeah. my life. They connect... Like, they connect with each other when they're all in their own toilets, and they, like, diarrhea. <laughs> I and love then, that And then, like, the time. toilets start, like, vibrating, and they start, like, going <laughs> up, right? right? And then, like, a beam of light, you know, reaches, and it's, like, a pyramid of, like, all four, like, biggest members, you know Yeah, I mean? and in the middle is a cheesy crunch gordita. <laughs> a crunch wrap supreme. <laughs> <laughs> That's the aliens they've been trying to tell us about, dude! The crun- Why do you think the crunch wrap supreme shaped the way it is? Saucers. Exactly. True. The crunch, the crunch ratch, the crunch wrap supreme, supreme. You mean supreme leader? Oh. You know that that crunch wrap supreme says it's already a little hexagon. He made that into a three D. You know what it's gonna be? Dodecahedron. You know what else is dodecahedron? What? The Earth. Talk about. You know what? Well, I know what we're talking about. Patreon episode. Check exactly. it out. Exactly. Exactly. Guys, what a great episode. We've learned so <laughs> much. We've somehow connected. Uh, Lizzo being a giant monster from the Marvel movies to Kai Sinat and creating World War Z. Uh, we even brought in the Illuminati, Taco Bell. What else am I missing here? Uh, we talked about... Uh, dude, uh, we talked about so much we don't even remember. Okay? Uh, Lil Xan. Oh, yeah, Lil Xan. Island by, like Island so whatever, dude. Uh, okay. Lil Xan's like the least important <laughs> thing. Lil Illuminati. The Bell Illuminati. <laughs> the Illuminati. Lil, Lil Illuminati. <laughs> um, Lizzo but, and Kai Sinat teaming up to terrorize New York. Yeah, dude, that, that would be the end of the world Liz for sure. Lizzilla. 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 Lucilla <laughs> and Kai Z. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. I, look, it, the world is nuts right now. The aliens are fucking real. Like, people are coming out as crazy. There's riots happening from just some guy that streams in his fucking, like, you know, in his place. We got, oh, we got the island boys turning into the incest <laughs> boys. Um, incest boy. It's, it's, it's too much, dude. So, the, kid, the world just chill out so we don't have this much fun on the podcast. Or yeah. don't, so we get more content. Or don't. Whatever works for you. You know what I mean. Like whatever, like floats your boat. Yes. Yeah. Unlike Lizzo, we we yeah, you know nah. we can form body positivity. <laughs> so whatever works for you. Yeah, but only if you give us money on our Patreon. God damn it, Lizzo! Our boat is sinking. And she's like, "It's you." <laughs> <laughs> Does she gaslighting me? <laughs> All right, guys, an- another great one. Be sure to come back around. We have a Patreon episode out. Be sure to check that out as well. We love you. Thank you for sticking around. And please, please, please share our stuff. I can't tell you. If you want us to talk about something, let us know. Give us feedback. If you think we suck, tell us. Put it in the comments. Let us know how it is. We want to hear it all. We may we listen. Do. We may not. We may sick Lizzo on you. Okay? That's just the reality of the situation. We love you guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.